and those are in place three to five days after the graft is put on and then they'll remove half of them with a little staple remover and after it's healed um, then you're left with a hopefully uh, functional and cosmetically pleasing um, healing of the, the burn that was left behind. If someone has a very large wound, they have to um, sometimes mesh graft that they take. And what mesh means is just what you would think from hearing the word mesh. It, it, little holes are cut into the, the graft and then it's expanded and it can cover a larger area. Um, they try not to do that in areas where um, your skin is seen, like your face, or in functional areas like your hands and your elbows because um, it cannot have as good of a functional result. Also, you can be left with a slight mesh pattern. Um, they try to treat that using pressure garments, which will allow it to heal into a smooth looking, um, normal appearing skin. But um, if you've ever seen anybody with a kind of an odd mesh pattern on their skin, they probably had a significant burn at some point in their life. Um, these two bottles um, contain actual human skin. These happen to be um, allograft skin, which is skin that has been donated by someone who died. Um, their family agreed and they agreed to donate their skin. Um, this is used as a temporary dressing. Um, there's no tissue typing done. You don't have to match donors because it's meant to be temporary. Um, it's placed over a, a burn wound when someone doesn't have enough autograph to cover it the autograph being their own skin, um, or uh, if they don't know for sure if the wound is going to be full thickness, they'll use homograft and it might heal underneath and they won't need to do anything else, um, or if it doesn't then they can do the autograft at a different time. It's in a pink media, uh, which keeps the skin alive once an autograft has been taken. We can keep it for up to two weeks here and it'll stay alive and they can graft any time during that period of time. This you'll see is yellow. There's just an indicator in there. After it's used up all of the uh, nutrients, it'll turn yellow and then we'll replace the media and that will keep it alive. These are uh, expired and just kept for demonstration purposes.